Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, what up? Matt Montague here with Dying to See Me. I'm here with uh, one of my old school boys, uh, Fabian Olamar. He is a actor. He is a, actually, the skating part is, for me, is the best. But <laughs> I know that the acting is, is you're doing it. So we're going to get into today, um, you know, everything from the transition from, uh, you know, back in the day when you were skating. And, and, and we're just going to kind of go up a little bit. Nobody believes me when I say that I'm a skateboarder. They don't, huh? No. no, nobody buys no, it. Nobody, nobody. They like, look and at you me. were good. Like you weren't just like, like you weren't just like whatever. I mean, you I was down for like over ten years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was. Were you sponsored? Street, street skater. Yeah, yeah. you were. World Industries, uh, DBS Shoe Company, Stamina so you, Clothing. Yeah, so big sponsors. Nixon. Yeah. Uh, I had a, I had a few things That's going crazy. on, man. It was cool. Like I was getting paid, ma making great money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traveling around the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's start there, right? Like, when did you start skating? How old were you when you first started skating? I started skating when I was about thirteen or fourteen. Yeah. And um, it came uh, how it came about is me and my homeboy Juan, who is a like a big time writer right now, doing graffiti on the streets. You know, mm -hmm. like we're from the same. We we were we started a crew called DOC with my boy. Like it was already established, but we took it to other heights. Yeah. And um. This is all in Belmont, like right there on Echo Park. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how I came about skating, I, I, I lived in Rampart by Tommy's, and we, so these, these couple chinos are down the street were just making noise on the skateboard, and we didn't know where it was coming from. Back then, we were concentrating on stealing parts for different trucks sure, sure. to build up our own truck. Right, right. That was all made up of stolen parts. Yeah. So we could have like, you know, back in the day, it was like in the 80s. We're yeah. talking like... 85, yeah. 86. So you know it was like so Nissan. Like pull out, it was, it was the block punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapple. Yeah. Yep. Pine, pull out stereos. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. The, you know, all those uh, block punks. Block punks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah was Polk it? audio. Yeah. Okay, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. we had all that shit. We, and we would steal different parts. We'd go to Griffith Park to, and we and we go all around just looking for parts to steal, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I had a stolen bike to top it off. And it was yeah. my day to, to ride it because me and my homies stole it. So we had to share it. Yeah, yeah. So it was my turn to ride it. He got on the bars. Yeah. I remember they were skating down the street and then making all this noise. And we rode down there. And these two fools just stopped skating. They just stopped because they were like scared of what we were going to do. I'm like, hey, man, we all go to school together. I see you guys in school. Yeah. So they continued skating. And little by little, I jumped on it. I watched. I see my homie try it first. And I tried it. Yeah. Yeah. Before you know it, man, we were both falling on our ass and falling, but it was like, it was cool, man. We were just getting on, messing around. Yeah. But these fools were already good. Like the ramp went this way to go off it. Yeah. They were going all in into it. Into it. Yeah. So they were advanced. Yeah. Come to come like another year, fast forward. Yeah. We would be better than everyone in that neighborhood in a year and a half. Yeah. We we would like be the best skaters in like two years, bro. We would just like. Be the we would skate with those chinos still, but we had a, like a big old like little posse back then. Yeah, yeah. And we're right behind the LAPD rampart where yeah, the yeah. original rampart, rampart police division. station yeah, yeah. by Tommy's. Uh huh. We're right there, stealing. Like we would we would jack everything. Yeah. I needed another. I, I I told those I told those guys. Hey, how do you get a board, man? They were like, man, you have to go to the shop. It's like sixty bucks. I'm like sixty bucks for a board. Yeah, man, I could barely get like eleven dollars to go get my 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 Converse, my Chuck yeah. Taylors from the Piojito at MacArthur Park because right, that's right. where I'm, I'm out of MacArthur Park right yeah, there. Yeah. That's where we go shop, and um, it was a trip, man. Like we went to we went we we said okay, fuck it, we gonna steal this shit. We have to. Yeah, yeah, we can't afford it for sure. Go to Glendale, Eagle Rock, uh, Pasadena, Beverly Hills. All out like in Santa Monica, deep in like where all the money's at. Yeah. We find kids skating with the little Tony Hawk haircut, homie. Yeah. And, and like we got him. Yeah. With that little, that little cockatoo <laughs> Tony Hawk. Like, I, I love yeah. Tony Hawk. No, no, nothing against Tony yeah, Hawk, yeah. but he started that. And like that little thing, everybody had it and they were just like, bro, like, bro. Yeah, let's go. Like, and yeah, like, like, this hey, let's go skate. You know, <laughs> I would like look for those guys and yeah. just get them, man. Mm. Yeah. And just take, you know, but, but, but I never, mm. and, and it came, it was like this. We found a donut shop in Eagle Rock right off of Colorado. Mm -hmm. Colorado Boulevard there was a donut shop and they they levered they played video games inside there and they couldn't take their boards in there so what we did was we cruised by grabbed like four or five each yeah, and, just and throw them in the back of the pickup truck yeah. that we that we jacked and now we got all these boards and like yeah. we'd take off and go back to Echo Park and go skate yeah so you started to skate right and you had uh 
slowly but surely you started to get these sponsors, right? And I would imagine at that time, sponsorship was good money, right? Back then, like, especially for skaters, right? Especially but, if you broke. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, so for you, it was like, God damn, like, I'm, I'm just getting this chips and-, and uh, For skateboarding. And, and I fucking enjoyed to do, I'm going to do this shit anyway. I mean, I'm going to do it regardless. Regardless, you're going to do it, right? I might as well get paid for it. Exactly. And, and do exactly. good and then concentrate on, you know, just the other day, I got a, I got a homie in, that, that goes to church with me and he was like, hey- Man, when I saw your, you know, when I, when I see you, when I, whenever I saw, like, you skateboarding, when he saw me on the streets or anything that I do, and, like, I'm on a board, and he, I remind him of the times when he quit skating. Yeah. He, he's like, man, I should have stood on. Stuck I should have stood it. skating because yeah. you guys all, like, grew and got big. Yeah. And he, he was pro, but I think uh, for a company that wasn't really giving him no shine, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got our due shine, and we went all across the board with it, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Europe, everywhere. Yeah, Japan, you traveled all over the fucking place, right? Japan, China, Germany, Europe, yeah. everywhere. I've been to Prague. I had like man in in Italy and in France. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I'd be out there all the time, like every year. And so, Canada. so for a homie from the hood that would normally not get those kind of shots, I'm sure you were like, "Fuck, bro, this is crazy." They're paying me. That's a they're ticket. Giving me the yeah, yeah, that's right. My ticket. That's oh. your. That's your. That's your good. Yeah. 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 So then, um, so what brought it to the end? What what, you know, what was. You know, did you get in, did you battle with, with drugs? Did you, you know, what happened? Well, I was spiraling out of control. You give a guy from the hood no money. Yeah. And all this, like, all, you know, you got, like, practically a red carpet to life. Sure, yeah, yeah. And I didn't do nothing but ride a skateboard. Yeah. I didn't know how to appreciate it. I could tell you right now, man. So it was money. It was fame. It was bitches. It, I mean, there was a it was, ton of shit, It was right? a ton of stuff. Drugs yeah, yeah. were involved, too. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know how to appreciate what I had, skateboarding. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, I had such a beautiful thing. And um, I was too young, man. Yeah. Too naive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know how to appreciate, like, what I, what had been given. I didn't even take no pictures in France. Right. Or, like... I didn't even bother to record it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we didn't have these things, these phones. Yeah, yeah for sure. For but, me. but, but I, I, I had, I could have bought a little camera or something. I, I figured, man, I'd be skating all my life. Right, like right. I took for granted, you know. Yeah, you thought it would be a forever thing. And it's apparently it's not. You know, like yeah, yeah. it's like a, not a forever thing, especially when you know, a lot of my skater friends lived in nice ass homes where like they had the the support and the the backing of their family, and they went to their things. They went to their um, skate events that they were involved in and for Little League baseball to skateboarding, everything. I never, I'll be honest with you. And like we talked about this, me and my familia, we don't, we never had that kind of support with each other, you know? Sure. They never came to my shit. And we lived right there. Yeah. Right in Bellevue Park where yeah. I played baseball and we lived right there. Right, they right could have walked, the right? They could have easily took, yeah. they could have walked or take a bus. But yeah. And we had a, we had a car that we all shared, you know. Sure. Yeah, I'm saying that we 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 could have made it, but it didn't happen like that. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's it's for for skateboarding, man. It's such a different animal when when you want to be a skater on the street and you want to learn something because you don't got a coach. Sure. You don't got nobody pushing you. Yeah. It's just you. It's you pushing you on that board. Right. And you wake up and you feel determined and you like forget the weed, forget the drinking and all that and all these broads. Mm -hmm. You just want to go skate. Yeah. You want to land that one trick. And then it's and on that, the that, that trick leads to another that trick, and then you want to flip yeah. out of it or shove it out yeah. of it, and and it, that's that's the mind control that that skateboarding had on me, and I still have it, but with acting. Yeah. And do do you still do you skate anymore? Or do yeah. you just every yeah you do? Huh? Oh, I still do, bro. Love but it. I I don't go as hard as I used yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, for man. sure. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way I'm gonna do that and break my bones again. Shit, you got no hell no. So we talked about uh, a little bit of some drug use, and uh, you're sober now, right? How long have you been Six sober? Six years. Six years. Good yeah. for you. Good for you. Thank you. I've been sober since uh, 2005. Good for you. I had a pro I had a problem, bro. Oh I had, shit. fuck, bro. I had a problem so bad. Yeah. Mine was drinking more than anything, but you know, if I I, I don't believe I would be in the place that I'm in today is successful and yeah and and a family man that, that i am today if i hadn't quit drinking I, it would absolutely been, yeah it'd have been fucked for me yeah so so you're acting right like um you know plug some of them shows you know most of my fans probably watch well, these shows well before that i, I want to say this i want to say that i was um formerly incarcerated Correct. i've done like 16 years of my life in yep. in, in the pen mm -hmm. but the last time i finally came to my senses man you know when you're just tired of being yeah, I'm, I don't want to come back here no more. Yeah, and I'm gonna do everything that and that's possible to not come back. Mm -hmm. 
and I, I I felt like that this time. So you so you've done a total of sixteen years yeah. different, like you know, three here, or whatever. No, no, here. no, no, no. Nine, what? nine, uh, five, uh-huh. and then they gave me some time off, and then I went back for another three, nine, three, five. Yeah. yeah. So your very first nine, what was that for? It was supposed to be six, but I turned it into nine. You turned it into nine, and because what was of the it? politics, yeah, because yeah. of the things you got to do. Sure. As a South Sider, you got to go in there and you got to do things. You know, yeah. we're 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 all we're 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 supposed to do stuff. That's what you signed up for in the street. So when you get locked up, people yeah. want to just start. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the Bible and you know, yeah, yeah. but that's not the way to go. If you really mean it, go do it. Yeah, yeah. But don't fake it, yeah. and don't you know? I I I hate people that talk. Real highly into these things, but they ain't got the balls to say it to your face. Sure, sure, sure. You know, yeah. the people know who they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so I, I, I personally, I personally like, I'm, I'm the type of person that'll go and and hit you face straight up, win, lose, or draw. Yeah, I'll talk to you about it. You know, and like we'll come to the, uh, the decision because I'm on, I'm a two striker, sure. and I, I, I'm not trying to look for no smoke, man. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I definitely will not run from it. You sure. know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I, I'm not built that way. Yeah, got you, got yeah. you. Yeah. So you did, you, you did, you. You did your nine, you did your six, then you did the, the, the yeah. three or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then, so the last time you were like, fuck this dude, I'm not doing this no more, right? I'm not coming back. I, I'm getting out. And when you got out, um, you, did you seek refuge from one of your buddies? No. No. You just got out and you were like, I'm, I'm not going back. I'm going to, I'm going to. I, I got, I got my mind right. Yeah. In the joint. Okay. I started doing my 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 education i started getting on my education more and then from education i moved into a a a, 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 a an area where i could have a career when i come out sure. and that was going to be in healthcare facility maintenance which is like dealing with uh ppe and and um uh blood spills like i could have i could have maybe got hired at at a hospital to, after they do the surg- the surgery, they need a, they need the cleanup crew to go clean up the blood, and they have to use a certain chemical, yeah. and they have to mix it, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of like weird chemicals that you got to do it with. Yeah. So I was learning a lot about that, which which deducted my time. Look, man, I'm on God's borrowed time right now, brother. Yeah. I'm on God's borrowed time. You want to know why? Because I was supposed to be locked up for nine years. I end up doing five, mm-hmm. and my date was. Uh, Janu- uh, July 26, 2026. And I'm supposed to knock, I'm, that was my true date. Sure. You know? So when when I got clean in there, because I OD'd, mm-hmm. when I got clean, after I OD'd. You, you I, OD'd inside. I OD'd in San Quentin. Okay. When I got clean, I came out, went straight, and, 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 was in, and hit Pelican Bay. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, there was a little turbulence. But the turbulence was nothing because yeah. that's what we built for and that's what we signed up for. Sure, sure. And as a man, I, I'm a man first before anything else. Right. So I, you know, I, I, I give respect to people as, a, as you know, yeah. as a man. But, you know, I had to go through that in order to get get clean and get my head right and and find out that life is way more better when when you're just seeing clear and yeah, no yeah. more foggy haze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. uh, I was making a lot of bad decisions, man. When I got home a week later. A week later, after I came home, I went to go take, I went to go take uh, uh, headshots with a friend of mine. Her name is Lisa Brat Martinez, mm-hmm. and she in, she introduced me to Danny Trejo. I, I mean, I worked with him on Sons of Anarchy, yeah, but I didn't get to know him like that. Sure, sure, sure. And um, a week later, I'm taking photo, I'm taking pictures at at, at a Echo Park, and. Um, and, and she's like, we're done taking the photos. And she's like, hey, you want to go have lunch? I'm going to go have lunch with Danny Trail. I'm like, Danny Trail? Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. She goes, you want to come? I'm like, nah. I don't, I don't want to be the third wheel. I don't know the situation. She's like, no, you should come. And then all of a sudden, he, she says, um, no, you got to come. And so she calls him. Yeah. And, he, and I, I, all I hear is, Oh, what 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 prison did he come out of? <laughs> what? Oh, Pelican Bay. Okay, yeah. You know what? Let let's uh, yeah. I'm gonna meet with him. Yeah, bring him over. Bring him. I yeah. want to meet him. So with that, I was like, damn, he wants to meet me. Yeah, she ain't got solid. Maybe right. I'm in trouble. I don't yeah. know. So I went to, but I went to go meet him, which was supposed to be for 20 minutes, bro. Yeah, turned into a lifetime, brother. Yeah. Six hours we were there, or like no, three hours. We turned it, and then like the next couple a couple days later, I end up. Going to his house and meeting with Mario and yeah, yeah. Mikey. And I'm now I'm just like right, part of the family, you're just man. Part of the fam. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. So 
you know, you, you got out of prison, you got right. Um, obviously I would say that your success also, also come from being clean, right? Yeah. That's part of your sobriety. You right? want, you want to hear something else that came into me it, while I was in prison, there was a, a video, there was a video that was, uh, looping. It's part of the prison channel. It's the channel that just, you know, you could, yeah. you could learn education there. Sure. They all the menu of what you want to eat for the week tells yeah. you everything. Prison, uh, Pelican Bay prison institutional channel. They had a, a an ARC video there. Where ARC stands for Anti Recidivism Coalition, and it's run by uh, Sam Lewis and a, a dear friend of mine, Carlos Cervantes. And uh, I was watching this, and Scott Budnick was on TV, Danny Trejo, Mario Castillo, Mikey Castillo, and Richard Cabral, and they're all talking about and and they're all talking about um the recidivism about going back to prison. So I'm like, damn, I wonder, you know, like, damn, I never knew that I'd be coming home and 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 a week later be just sitting down with these dudes and just we'd yeah. be we'd be chopping it up, you know, and like yeah. now 3 months before I come home, Elgin James hires me or says to me on 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 the on Instagram cuz I posted a a, a a ARC certificate Elgin James replied and said, hey, man, that's dope. Let's get you home and get you on set and create magic. When he said that to me, bro, I was like, fuck, are you serious? Yeah. I couldn't believe it. So now you, now I'm like, I, I told the homies, I possibly have a fucking job. I possibly have a job like being on the Mayans. Yeah, yeah. And like I came out and I called them with my Obama phone, bro, yeah. ASAP. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. Like, and he fucking hired me. Dope. And now I'm like the... I, I I was I, I he he hired me as the the uh, president of Portland chapter. Yeah. And so so you worked on I was Rooster. Sons of Anarchy, right? Sons. I worked on Sons of and Anarchy. You worked yeah. on Mayans. Yes. And you worked on one of my favorite fucking shows, This Fool. This Fool. This Fool. Yes. Hey, fool. this yeah. fool. That shit is. Con hey, Dude, I guys. tell everybody that's like the Hispanic Friday. That <laughs> shit is fucking comical. Yeah. Bro. I love that show. Dude, Frankie Quinones. And Chris Estrada are amazing. Bro. Yeah, right. Those guys, th their whole team that put yeah. that together is sick, man. Sick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because, you know, there's not a lot of Hispanic culture shows like that that yeah. are out, bro. Right. So that's what makes that show where even people that don't understand the culture, they'll still laugh because they're like, fuck, I didn't know that. This is, this is crazy, yeah, right? Like, exactly. That shit was... Uh, yeah. Yeah, shit was dope, man. It is. Dope. I love that show, man. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you. We got a second season coming out. Yeah, July, yeah. July I heard 28th, that. Twenty eighth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second yeah. season. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. Um, um, Milio, right? Milio Rivera. Milio Rivera is good people, man. Good, good people, man. He, uh, I, I met him through uh, Justin AV Chevy. Justin, that's my right? guy. That's your best people. Man. Yeah, that's it's my, my guy. that's my man, folks, I got man. a car from Justin. Yeah, man. you that's did, right? Boy, yeah, good. Yeah, he. Uh, I've known Justin a long time, bro. Over yeah. twenty years, man. He's a solid dude. Yeah, and I met, I, I met, I met him, Emilio, through him and okay. whatever. And we we did some work on Emilio's car and whatever. And and Emilio's a good dude, man. Came to the pad, talked with my son. You know, we 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 chopped it up, man. But he's he's a good dude. And I know you work a lot with him too, right? I spent six weeks with him in Albuquerque, homie, and I got to really know him and you know, he's solid, man. Yeah. He lives around the corner from me. Hey, he's one of the most down to earth people. Yep. I agree. I I, I couldn't um I could I couldn't I couldn't say anything wrong about the guy at all, bro. Yeah. Like everything he showed me, psh, love, love yeah, yeah. and respect, homie. Yeah. And then, so, um, uh, what about, uh, I, I know you did some work with one of my exes, right? Uh, Eva? Oh, that's your yeah. ex? Yeah. Well, she don't you know that. But that. Yeah, Eva need, Longoria. I need, I need to see some proof of that. Listen, yeah. she don't know that yet. Okay, but she don't know. Yeah, okay, just, okay, just okay. Let, me have my, let me have my moment, player. I don't want to squash the dream, bro. <laughs> right. Don't, man, don't hate I'll on the player right that. now. Uh, yeah, so my ex, Eva Longoria, man, she, uh, you did some work with her, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, what did what'd you do? Flaming Hot. Flaming hey, uh, Hot. Flaming Hot, man. That, that was one, that's the movie we did out there and me and Emilio. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's how I got to meet, really chop it up with him. Man, I know Emilio since Sons of Anarchy. Right, right. And I never uh, really chopped never it really up. Never really chopped yeah, it up. Yeah. He's given it. Look, never really chopped it up. This is, this is what, this is what I think about. Never really chopped it up with him. Never had like a, like a, never hung out with him, but always meet up with him. And when we were on set, he was, he saw out of the crowd, he picked, chose me. He goes, hey, I got a job. I got a job that I'm not going to be able to make, but it's a, it's a, it's a feedman look 
and it's a good thing for you to do. And like, I'm going to back out of it because I have this other stuff, but it'd be cool for you to go and go as represent me, my the character I was going to play. And I was like, damn, That's he was idea. already like, a solid looking uh, out. Like, yeah. what are you, are, are you kidding me? You're already like on the show that I love the most. Like Sons of Anarchy back yeah. then was the shit. Yep, yep, And yep. like, I'm on it and like, I'm the Galindo cartel at the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was like background. Right, right. And he's telling me for another gig to go and be, take his spot. Yeah. I don't know if he saw something or maybe saw, or maybe he just took it, but he chose me out of a few other people. He could have told anybody. Yeah. And I, and I and I always respect that, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's a that's a solid move. Man. That 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 solidified it. Just like Elgin kept his word. Elgin James kept his word with me. Like you know, Justin, just A V Chevy. Yeah, that he they've all kept their words. I mean, I I fuck with people like that. I love yeah. people who just like okay, I promise you so. And then I you got to also in, in return you got to keep your, yeah, yeah. your promise too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Or just let them know off top. But like yeah, yeah. those they're solid people, man. Like Danny. He's one of them. Right. You know, I got there, I got a slew of them, man. Like from from uh, Justin, Danny, Emilio, yeah, Eva. They're like it, it, there's a, there's a tight circle, bro. Sure, sure. It's a tight, tight circle. Yeah. And and like, you know, Scott Butnick is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. He's one. Of, he's another. He's a big time e executive producer on all the Hangover he franchise. Yeah, he started. Yeah, yeah. He started ARC. Yep. Like there's guys like that. You know, like he just. I got, man, it's Josh Swindell's another one. Another guy that was like my mentor when I was in Pelican Bay. Yeah. Not a lot of people that I, it's not just, it takes a village, homie. Yeah. And like little by little and at the top, then you start, you could start spreading the flowers that you need to everywhere. But you know, the, a, lot, a lot of people don't enjoy the journey on the way up and yeah. kind of like they, they take the credit for themselves. I, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of team, people yeah. that help. Yeah. And same with me, right? Like I, my success isn't just me, right? Of course, I put in a lot of long hours, a lot of long time, but it doesn't mean that sacrifices weren't made by whether it's my wife, my right, kids, right. my whatever, you know, absolutely. Uh, uh, Thanksgiving's away from home, Christmas. It just, it is what it is, right? It takes a lot of people to make somebody successful. There's never been one person that goes, I did everything <laughs> mice. And if they do, they're yeah. wrong, right? That's right. that's just not the way to do it. Yeah. If you have a team behind you, you'll be the most successful, right? You can have, you know, a million in the bank and nobody around you, and or you can have a hundred thousand in the bank and have the love of your family, and that's more rich than the dude with the million. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's just really what it boils down to. So uh but yeah, right. uh you Justin get it on me. Yeah. Justin Gonzalez, he's getting a lot of plugs in here. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to charge him for that. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, you got you a new car, right? What'd yeah. you get? What'd you end up getting? I got a Camaro, bro. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you out there? You're yeah. gonna be sidelining it, yeah, whipping yeah. it side to side. Huh? Now you just call me Night Rider, homie. Just Night Rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, what else? Uh, what else? What else? What else? There was something else I wanted. Oh, to I ask got you something about. coming up skating. Oh, what is it? I got, yeah, some, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. some shit coming up skating. Uh, if I could say, like, man, born and raised in Nike SB, they're doing something and they're plugging, they're oh. they're, they're putting me in that thing. So I would like to plug them up. Yeah, you know, for good sure. For them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, can you talk about it? I don't know what it is yet. Okay. But I know it's a campaign. Well, you know it's a campaign. Okay. And I'm well, in it. That's it. And we haven't shot it yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that'd oh. be, that'd be, and sick. be on the lookout for a Becky G music video with the Flaming Hot song. The, the oh, theme? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cast is going to be in it. We're all going to take oh, part in sick. it and shit. It's going to be fucking good. It's fire, man. So I know that they're coming out with another spinoff of Sons of Anarchy, and it's supposed to be when they're younger, younger, correct? Do you know about that? Oh, man. Hey, I don't know anything about that. Oh, you don't? No, okay. I don't. Nah, nah okay. I'm not that plugged in on Okay, me. Yeah. all right, all right. Yeah, that's for the that's for the head honchos up there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. They'll let me know when they're already yeah, done. Yeah, when they're like, ready, yeah. they'll be like, hey, yeah. come through, come through. Yeah, um, another source that always helped me out, homie, is ARC and Homeboy Industries. I think they go hand in hand. Because when you mention ARC, right. you got to say Homeboy Industries and Homeboy Industries to ARC. because right. same, same, almost. I, they both do the right thing by an ex-con coming out right right you need you if you need to get your fleet your feet flat on the ground homie yeah those are the places to go they help me out now what i do in return this is what i do on the weekends i i'm a i'm a i'm a I, i'm a mentor at at uh three juvenile halls kilpatrick mm -hmm. uh central and right here in silmar mm -hmm. and i go there every weekend and try to give my time and do stuff with them yeah. but also um i do the ride home program the Ride Home program is uh, something that got started. And as a matter of fact, Eva Longoria was the one who kind of helped kick it off years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, 
it's it's still going on. My 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 boy uh, uh, Carlos Cervantes, he runs that program with Mo Moses Gallegos. They're all ex -con ex felons. Between them two, they got like fifty years. Of, uh, you know, they everyone's done time there. Sure. And we and we all back each other up, and we're all like a. a we're all there for each other for the, the, the most, like, like when you go to the program, the most important room is the newcomer. Sure. The most important man in that person in the room is the newcomer. And so um, with us, it's like the guy who's fresh out. The fresh out, the guy who just got out is the most important because we want to keep him on the right path, you know? Yeah. So instead of setting him up for a job, homie, we set you up with a career move and like go and learn something, take a trait and, and, uh, and the, and your your living your living situation and driving and all that we take care of a lot. They help you with everything, bro. Yeah. So there are programs that um, yeah. There's no when excuse. you get out. Yeah, th yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Like there's let's really just keep it. Let's keep it real. Let's, there's no excuse for motherfuckers to be out there doing shit like that. That's it. So if you're doing that, it's because you want to, or either you're you're just you you ain't got no clecha. Yeah, you're not you know? ready to change. You're not really doing it. No, you're not ready to change. You're not. You're not. Um. You're you're not fucking ready for that you want to you would rather stay in the game because like you said there's so many fucking programs right. for you to do if if you're messing up it's because you you really want to mess yeah, up yeah, and did you hear on the news i don't know if you guys heard this but now anybody who does theft or robbery or they're not getting they're getting a slap in the hands and le yeah, unless you got a prior uh, bro unless you got a prior so, which is fucked up so first 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 time comers you know yeah they're gonna get away with whatever yeah, yeah, and get bam yeah, go go do a holiday for me. You know, yeah. it's it's kind of messed up, man. It's, Why would you announce something like that? That's uh, and that's California though. Yeah, you, you, that shit ain't flying anywhere. Nowhere else. else. But, nah, Crazy. you know, mo you know, I watched this thing um uh with um uh Joe Rogan the other day where we, I he, love that dude. He talked about you know, there's five states. Um, I think it was Chicago, uh, California, uh, Michigan, and, and a few other ones. They all five states have the strictest gun laws and they have the most gun violence. <laughs> Trip out, right? They're all blue states, right? Uh, you know, which, yeah, are, yeah, yeah, whatever, course. but blue states. And so because of that, fucking, um, but is that crazy? So the strictest gun laws, it's like, it's it's wild, bro. It's it don't wild. make no sense, bro. Nah. It doesn't make sense. Hey, you know, I got a question for you, bro. Okay. I want to hear some crazy, outlandish, <laughs> wild, fucking crazy Matt story. What's something that you, homie? So let, let remember when you were talking about earlier, like uh, being at the at the surgery center, you know, and cleaning up the blood and wearing the PPE. Remember you were, you were talking about I doing I was talking that? about PPE yeah. because yeah. the blood and the, the yeah. blood spills. So, so that's that's what I do, but just on a, on, a, on a bigger scale. Wait, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. You work at a blood bank? No, but we we will go to a we will clean up that blood at a scene. That's what exactly what we do. So we pick up fingers, eyeballs, teeth. Uh, wait, 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 wait. At a scene, at a like, at a, crime, like, at a, at a homicide. Let's just say there was a homicide and somebody shot and killed somebody. Okay, so you go there right before the cops go, or while the cops are there? We go there after the cops you, are can there. You, can you like with the corner? Can you bamboozle the investigation if you wanted to? Um, you know, I don't think we're gonna. Then we could get away with some shit. You know, I don't think we're gonna answer that. Okay, 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 okay. I think <laughs> I think we'll hold off on that for just a few. I think. Uh, hey, but you, oh, okay, yeah. No. Are you wired hey, up for no, the fans no, I'm, right I'm, now? I'm, what I'm, the I'm fuck? Not, I'm, not, I'm wired for. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just me. playing. I'm just no. Uh, um. Yeah, so we get there, we you know, we clean, we, we put suits on, Tyvek suits, and we wear uh, respirators, um, and we go in and we, we disinfect, clean, take out whatever nice. is there, right? Um, the coroner leaves, and this is what a lot of people don't understand, the coroner leaves whatever is smaller than two fists. So fingers, eyeballs, teeth, fuck, whatever that shit is that's left, they just go fuck it. It is what it is, it's not our problem. Um, if it's if it's uh, like a, a heart, a human heart, they will take it, but if it's in pieces, they leave it, right? Because it is what it is. They didn't, they didn't, they know they didn't die from that. So uh, we'll go in there, we'll clean it up. But I mean, I got fucking stories for days, like, but I think the most, the craziest one ever, ever was this guy was on meth for like two weeks. He feed me one. On yo, a fucking sick on one. a sick one. This fool. <sighs> And he fucking cut his mom from her neck all the way down to her pussy, opened her up, took bolt cutters, opened her rib cage, cut her rib cage open, and pulled her liver out 
and was eating it while he jacked off. Okay, meth heads. <laughs> All right, you done took it to a whole nother level, bro. Uh, white people too, you know. That's you know, white, white people. White crime? people too. That's why white, white people yeah. meth is anytime. Than any <laughs> meth. Let me tell you. Listen, white people meth yes. got different. They do. They don't have no rules, bro. White people meth is different than anybody else's yeah. meth. You'll never. You'll never understand yeah. the white Hispanic people. Hispanic and Latino meth, bro. You ain't doing yeah, that. That's like step on shit. Nah, homie. nah. Your mom <laughs> is gonna come and kick you in the head before you even. Yeah, get you're gonna get the belt. You're gonna get a zapato upside the head. Come on, you know, you know that's not gonna happen. You're gonna get stabbed in the neck by your uncle before it even. They're gonna pull a razor out of their titties and fucking. Dog. You know what I'm saying? Nah, my mom carries a little deuce deuce yeah, in her yeah. purse everywhere she goes, yeah. bro. Yeah. So, you know, um, we, we but we do these are the kind of shit that we do. Like I see the human race at its worst. Damn. I really do. It's it's really fucked up. But you know, uh somebody has to do it. Um I, I just really fell into this. Everybody always asks me three questions like, you know, how good is the money? How did you get to doing this? Like, and do you ever throw up? And the question is, yeah, do I throw up? Fuck yeah. Um, I don't like the smell. Fuck the smell. The huh? smell, bro, is so fucking bad. The green emoji. It's like homeless sex and garbage truck juice. Like, it's all fuck up. It's bad. How does that even smell? How do you know how that smells? You know, he's starting to worry about me. I might, I might have been homeless at one time. He might have been down there like <laughs> taking some homeless. Taking sex. a little. Sh- 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 did he do the homeless sex? A man? little homeless, little, little homeless, homeless love, homeless right? beaver. Oh, Listen, homeless, homeless, homeless people need love too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, dog. But except for me, except for except okay. from me, right, they right. need it, but not for me. Listen, all you know, you ever notice that homeless girls, um, their breath always smells like foreskin. I, <laughs> I've never got close <laughs> enough to experience that one, bro. Hey. <laughs> I keep my homeless people away you keep from them me. At, you a, keep a, them at a, with a with a sharp a crack cattle pipe, prod, with a yeah, crack yeah, pipe, yeah, yeah. You like, prod get away. When, when I was on the streets, I was dealing with them, but yeah, I was yeah. mostly like beating them up and like yeah, yeah. getting away from me, get right, away right. from me, like, and then like I, I'm I, I'm not proud of it, but I was feeling that bad that on the block where my church is at, yeah, on Loretto, on Beverly Boulevard in Loretto. Uh, Union Loretto Church is right there on the corner of Union and Beverly. There was this homeless man, and it was late night, and I was, I was fiending for some shit, man. And my sister, she she left me hanging, and I had no feria. I was like, man, what's gonna? And at the time, I was like, man, I I got a big ass shank, yeah. and I'm just like, I want some. Oh, I need to get high. Yeah. It's all this homeless man. He was, I don't know what the hell he was doing, but I walked up to him in his cart, and it was raining. I went. Sh- and I and you know what I don't know how but when I got close to him he did have a little crack pipe and he was trying to smoke I grabbed it took it from him <laughs> went in his mouth and took his dope <laughs> took his dope from his homeless penis whatever if right. he, he yeah, was a yeah, man yeah. So he probably had like he might have had he might have had foreskin breath too might have had foreskin breath yeah. when you're homeless and you then you need yeah. that you're gonna do whatever so my ultimate bottom was going into the homeless man's mouth. With my finger and then pipe, take, pulling out his flat little cracks and putting it on his pipe and, and smoking, smoking it, it. Oh, and then oh, that's how bad that's how bad it went. And I, I threatened him. He was like, "Hey, what are you doing, man? Well, leave me alone." I'm like, "Took it away, boom! Took a big old fat hit and blew it into the rain. Just fucking, and then walked away and just gave it back to him on a sick one, on a vicious one. <laughs> oh, damn, fool. that's my lowest. And I, I yeah. felt bad after that. I was like. I, you know, one time I was in jail and I'm not, I'm not even lying. I think I was probably like fresh out of reception and I was in Salinas Valley and you know, Salinas Valley back in 2002, there's no joke. It's cracking. 2001, no yeah. joke. Salinas Valley, all those years because of the, the big riot that happened in Pelican Bay, it was bad. It, it, it drift, it, it trickled down, homie. Sure. So we were on lockdown when I got there. It was crazy. I started crying in bed. As I was sleeping, I had a dream and I woke up, I started, I just started crying because I felt bad for all the shit that I've done, bro. Mm. Yeah, you, look and I, you reflect I, on it. I, I don't know what happened to me and I, I, I hard never cry. Yeah, but self-reflection is important and, and it helps I, you grow. I felt, I felt bad for all the stuff I've done and I just started tripping, man. Like, you know, I don't ever want to do that shit again. Yeah. What was your drug of choice? Crack, homie. Crack, huh? Yeah. Oh, you were in the crack pandemic. I was in the cracka. Fuck. The cracka pandemic. They called it the cracka in MacArthur Park. La caca? La cracka. No, not caca, fool. <laughs> Too different. Dude, dude, don't get it, don't get it homeless, twisted, fool. Homeless foreskin <laughs> shit, piss. Homeless breath. No, man, it's cracka. Uh, 
Yeah. So, uh, did you do any other drugs? Did you ever do heroin? You ever do any? Yeah, other I, shit, I know? dabbled in everything. Dabbled bro. in it. Yeah. I, ex- meth was not my drug of choice because whenever I did, well, I, I did it twice on two different. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it a try again because the first time I did it, I was with my girl at mm-hmm. the time, and Mister Mister Love Machine didn't want to work, bro. I was like, whoa, I think I'm used to cocaine. Like yeah, the yeah. meth ain't really doing it. And if you're a cocaine user and you try another drug and it's like you're used to doing it with the cocaine, you're like, yeah, yeah. you're like champ John, John Holmes with yeah, that, yeah, thing, yeah. Right? Going, but then you try the other drug and it's just like, it's all burr. Other. Burr. <laughs> it didn't work, bro. I didn't have no salute or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it, I, I gave that one. That one didn't want to work for me. So I was like, hell with this drug. Yeah. I'm cool. You're like, fuck that. I'm good. Did you? And then heroin, did you? Uh, oh, heroin, man. I, it? I tried it, but I never, I never injected it. You never shot it. it, no. I just did like through the nose. I did calditos and, yeah, yeah. you know, smoked it. And yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> when I like, when I think about it, I start, I have to take a masa, you know? I have to like, yeah, oh man, here yeah. it comes. But you know, I don't like thinking about it no more because yeah. it just doesn't even, well, when I talk about it, it doesn't happen about it. It doesn't, but if I have to go into that character, like to, to get yeah. into that, yeah. all those feelings come back and I just, yeah. I, 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 I won't go back and relapse, but, but those feelings come back to where like, I know what it did to me. Sure. I know how it made me feel. And I know the next day I was even worse. Yeah. Worse, worse than, you, you know, you got a little bit of a high for a little bit, but then you come Bro, down 20 times worse. It's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why, like, right, don't get me wrong. Shit, I love doing drugs. I love doing crack. I love doing drugs. I love drinking. I love smoking this shit. But yeah. you can't do it because the, you, well, look where it takes me. Yeah. It takes me to carjacking. That was my, my crime. Carjack, kidnap, robbery. Carjack, kidnap, robbery. Yeah. You know, you end up in my trunk if I do a little yeah, skunk. Right? <laughs> yeah. End up in the trunk doing a little skunk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah this, man, fool. this fool. Fool's gone wild. Do, do hey, shout out to Fool's Gone Wild. Them fools them. building it up. Hey, big shout out to Fool's Gone Wild. Yeah, Mr. Little E. He's yeah, doing Mr. Little E. This. <laughs> Love that fool. Yep. Um... Uh, some of the other mutual people we got in common, uh, Stefan, right? Stefan Oreo. Yeah, Stefan Oreo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Cartoon, Stefan Oreo. Mr. Cartoon, Stephon Cartoon. They, you know, DJ Muggs. Oh, my come peeps, on, man. Dog. DJ Muggs. Those, my those that's all OG yeah. family from Venice. Is, yeah. Like, that's all. Yeah, yeah. And Alchemist, too. Yep, yep, yep. Alan. I just ran into him the other day and, and, uh, at, a, at a Born and Raised mm-hmm. event, and like, Bro, I don't. We used to party together back in the day because we were pro skateboarders. Yep. Pro skaters back in the day had like all access to clubs back in, a bit before the phones came out in the 90s we were we were the shit we were in hollywood we'd go to all this you know the palladium and all the clubs like las palmas on wednesdays mm-hmm. man i seen j-lo and and um and uh p diddy dancing together i was like yeah. damn that's crazy you know yeah. i was yeah. around when 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 b-real was with um carmen electra yeah and J- we j-lo j-lo they used to, uh they used to call her hey ho Right, J Lo, hey ho. Yeah, I, I never called her that. I didn't know her. I would never call her that. I would never. I was the hi, Mrs. J Lo. Hi, Miss Lopez. I do anything for you, Mrs. J Lo. Thank you very much, Mrs. J Lo. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican too, so have some love. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give a little love. Show some love, Show a little love yeah. motherfucker. Um, you're half Puerto Rican. I'm half Puerto Rican. The yeah. bottom half, homie. Bottom. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So you got the, you got the big dick then, and little bad credit. I mean, I I mean, I, I tell most of you know everybody who's been with me that. You get a, a, a. I'm I'm gonna not charge you. I'm just gonna give you. Yeah. The crutches and yeah. the wheelchair if you need. Be. Yeah. If you need it, yeah. you know, you might break a you hip or something. Sit on. You, you might, might touch yeah, your kidney. Yeah. That's good for you. Good yeah. for you. And what's the other you half? Fuck with this. If you're a cougar, you fuck with this. You might get a heart attack. Yeah. You might. You might fuck. So you might better have a medical plan. That's it. You yeah. gotta. Have, you gotta have a good PPO. Oh, my homie's gonna come pick up your body. Yeah. Yeah. And call it's me. Be shredded hey, right here, and he loves dead bodies. Call me. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, she got a nice pair of titties. We'll flick them real quick. Hey, that mm-hmm. homie had to use the the crowbar to lift yeah. to the body. The Puerto Rican yep. uh, uh, crowbar right here, just yeah, open just, it, like, uh, just spreading it bam, open. Damn the middle, split in half. Yeah. What uh, what's your other half? Mexican. Okay, so Mexican and Puerto Rican. Yeah, cool. Born um, in Echo Park, like right there in er, that area, right there, Echo General Park-y. Hospital. Born and raised Echo Park. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good for you, man. Good for you. So, um, do you attend meetings? I do. You do, huh? Yeah. Okay. Do, um and how does that fare for you so like for me i quit but i quit just cold turkey like i smoked cigarettes i, I and i drank and you know i had a, but i just quit because i just knew like if i didn't i was either gonna die or i was gonna end up in prison it's just what it was so th- do the meetings obviously help now like are they are, you know I, I mean i i, I go as I, I go as a listener 
I go as just to listen and I go just to, uh, I sometimes go and talk and share. Yeah. Um, a guest speaker or whatever. Sometimes I help facilitate it. Um, yes. Either way, I just love being in the meetings because, you know, I know that every motherfucker in here went through something like me or and and learned and we're all we all got that in common that we want to stop and change and keep on going so you know we all got that uh, that bond other than that i like hearing the stories though yeah because i could relate you know sure i sure. i was too proud to beg homie i was too proud to go panhandle so i would go fuck somebody up yeah, and yeah. get your money yeah. if you look like a victim to me i'm gonna victimize your ass yeah, yeah. and if you had crack in the gums oh, you're, you're getting it. you're getting you're getting the big yeah finger, you're getting that right, finger fucking all yeah. in there and i'm gonna give you the little <laughs> Yeah, in front of you and blow it on you and then give you back your peepaw. Blow right it back and you. Yeah. Here's, here's your, your peepaw. Here's your peepaw <laughs> back. <laughs> this fool. Hey, man. But, you know, those days are past me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, luckily, man, you've had a great team around you. Um, all the people you mentioned, you know, Emilio, uh, Eva, Danny, um, AV, Solid Foundation. AV, Chevy, big Justin Gonzalez. Oh, he's ha, the best. To Justin A.V. <laughs> yeah, he's good, dog. Yeah, yeah. They're all good people, man. That's family. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all great people, man. So um, tell everybody here where uh, they can find you on Instagram. On the So on, the on Instagram, I'm on um, Fabian Alomar Official. And uh, that pretty much goes for everything. Um, be on the lookout for uh, something coming up soon. And I'm not going to say nothing, but it's me, Mr. Danny Trejo, and... Um, Mario Castillo. It's I just that's all I'm gonna say. It's it's it, it, we're in the works of it. Hopefully, um, maybe I'm speaking too soon. I hope I'm not. But but I want <laughs> I want to put it into the into yeah, atmosphere yeah, yeah. and into the right, universe right. to make it of course to make it come to life. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. because I, I believe in it and yeah you know I'm also working on some other stuff too like uh, that I got going on that I can't speak on. But what I could tell you is. You know, life is good, man, and good. life is beautiful when when you're when you're doing your purpose, when you're when you know what you're gonna do in life and what you want to do, and and you got a solid team around you that's that's helping you get by and helping you get to the next level, bro. I want to be at Justin's level, man. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Justin. Uh, He's inspiring. Yeah, no, hundred percent. He uh, he inspires me every day. From nothing to he's something. G he's GQ. But he's I, I see Justin on, on, on Vibe magazine. You know what I mean? Like he that dude, yeah. I remember back when he used to wear like this red and white uh thong. He looked so good in this motherfucking thong. That thong, but, thong, thong, thong. That thong. but mm -hmm, yeah. you know, we, we got past me that, see that thong. Yeah. And now he's wearing fucking Louis Vuitton thongs. So, Louis so, Louis Vuitton? Mr. V Mr. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Louis Vuitton the thong. <laughs> You're going to catch a boomerang <laughs> Louis Vuitton right now. Uh, yeah, Justin, good people, man. I, I, I love Justin, man. He's always, uh, you know, he's he's kind of like me where he just at least keeps it real. Even if it even if it if it's not so good, which to a fault, I have a I have a real bad problem in, in telling people shit. And then they're like, oh, you don't have a filter. Or, oh, you're talking shit. And I'm like. Well, listen, it's, Same the, here. it's the truth, right? Yeah. Like, is, is it talking shit? No. If it's the truth. It's this, look. It's just your honest opinion and yeah. your truth. Sure. It's like everybody has a different view of it. A different, I, yep. I get called out for the same thing. Yeah. You know what they told me in prison? I'll tell you what they told me in high desert state prison. Hey. Uh, there, it was back in like 2007. They're like, one of the homies came up to me. He's like, hey, man, can you stop being so funny on the yard? Damn. Can you kind of like tone it down a little bit? You're making the homies laugh too much. Damn, just hater shit. Why? Yeah, just hater shit. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, politics. So. And like, you got to know when to talk. You got to know when to when to like hold your guns. Like, yeah. know when to hold them. Like, yeah, yeah. Kenny Rogers said it best, yeah. man. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't always. You got to sometimes. You got to you know, you gotta know yeah, how. Yeah, yeah. got to know how to. Because if not, yeah. Se acabó todo. Yeah. Know your crowd. Know know where you're at. Sí. So we. I need to get you to come back on, man. This was a great interview. We didn't even get to touch on a lot of shit that I wanted to touch on. You know, we're almost at an hour, but yeah, let's get you to come back on, we'll, and then maybe we'll get we'll get some other folks on here too, and we'll get we'll get talking some hey. shit together. We'll double team someone them. else sitting right here. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. fucking get him yeah, nasty. Body and have to yeah, yeah. Down. We'll get him all nasty. Get him ready to fucking throw his headphones <laughs> off and shit. Uh, Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah, yeah, always, of course, of course. So, uh, 
uh, you can catch all new episodes every Wednesday drop in on uh, all social media platforms, uh, Spotify, uh, YouTube, all that shit. A uh, big shout out to uh, all of uh, the people who have helped uh, Fabian get to where he's at today. Uh, it's much appreciated, man. He's a good dude, good, solid dude. And uh, you catch us every Wednesday. Uh, look for us on social media platforms. Dying to see me, Matt Montague, Fabian. <laughs>